Hello, my name is Caroline Cardinal. I am an application scientist for molecular devices. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to do a plate and plate with one standard and unknown with dilution. Unlike classical unknown, with unknown with dilution, we need to analyze them in separate groups. So let's take it step by step. The best way to start a plate and plate is to start from a specific protocol. Into the protocol menu, protocol manager, protocol library, choose the endpoint protocol. With that protocol, when you assign the well to your standard and the well to your unknowns, the standard curve will be plotted automatically and the back calculation of your unknown will be done also automatically. So in order to access the template editor, you can do this from the plate menu or from the top main menu. Select the template editor. The template editor window will appear and you can select the wells for your standard. Choose only from the group of that protocol. So select the standard group for the standard wells. You can edit that group and change the name if you want to, or change the color. You will then have the table that will be generated for that group. So you'll have all the calculation to be carried out, sample name, concentration, back calculated concentration, well ID, value given by the reader, the mean value, the standard deviation and the CVs. You can also add two columns, two descriptors, such as a concentration, dilution, percentage. And for the unit, you can choose from the drop down menu or type the unit of your choice. Click OK. If you've done a dilution series for your standard, click the series button. You will then have to define your series with a series layout. So are you going from top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, and then you have to define how your replicates are working with the plate. So how many do you have in the X direction and how many in the Y direction? Then you can enter the initial concentration and the step. Here we're dividing by three. Click OK. And here you can see that the software has assigned different name to the triplicates. And if you select descriptor, you can see that the calculation of the concentration for each triplicate has been done automatically. Select the plate blank well and select plate blank. With unknown dilution, you need to select each unknown separately. So the dilution factor is applied and you can have the final concentration. Select the well of the first unknown. Select unknown dilution. Click edit. You can rename that group. You will have the same table as the classical unknown with two additional columns, one for the dilution factor and one for the adjusted concentration. You can have additional description to that group. Click OK. For the dilution factor, you can apply a series. And if you have, you have to click on the series button. You can then define your series with the layout. So is it top to bottom, left to right, and the replicates. How many do you have in each direction? Here you have to describe the dilution factor. So the initial value and the step. Here we're going to multiply by five. The value displayed here is the dilution factor, the final dilution factor. Here, we have an additional group that has exactly the same dilution factor. So we're going to copy the first group and we're going to paste it with the new group. So the data are analyzed exactly the same way with the same dilution factor, but in a different group. The only thing we need to do is to rename that group. So sometimes you will have group with different dilution factor that are not part of a series and you will have to enter this manually. First step is to copy the first line of the first group. So you generated an unknown group with the right calculation. You can edit that group and rename it. Click OK. And you can modify the first dilution factor or here enter the dilution of the second sample and click assign. For the third sample again, enter the dilution factor and click assign. So it is applied. Here the descriptor will show you the concentration of the standard and the dilution factor. Click OK. And here you can see that again the plate is color coded according to the different groups and the various group have been generated below the table with the right data analysis for the standard 
and for the unknown. The dilution factor has been entered and the adjusted concentration is displayed. In the graph section, you will have the curve that will be plotted. The only thing you might need to do is change the curve fit so it corresponds to your data.